guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So we're kicking off our Force Awakens reviews by looking at this. It's the brand new Disney exclusive First Order TIE Fighter. And this is a die cast miniature of the vehicle seen in the film. I'm so excited about this. I wasn't too keen on picking up any of the Hasbro toys. Uh, I wanted something that was more of a replica and a collectible. So I decided to pick up this one and also the Resistance X-Wing Fighter, which will be coming up in a separate review. We recently had an unboxing of these two. If you want to see that video, link is in the description down below. But for now, we're going to take a look at this guy. Taking a closer look at the packaging, we've got a nice satin finish on the cardboard area, which gives a real sort of collectible feel to it. We've got the Star Wars logo. It says First Order TIE Fighter Diecast Vehicle. We've got a lovely picture there of Kylo Ren, the new villain with his brand new lightsaber that features a hilt looking awesome up in the corner we've got a three plus there so you know that's how old they have to be uh, here it says Disney store up on the top we got new Star Wars logo and also we got the Star Wars Force Awakens and it says from the new film got a nice little window on the side looking in on the TIE fighter hello and then we got the Disney logo there Star Wars logo on the opposite side we got Star Wars logo underneath we got a lovely barcode and the Star Wars logo and some lovely writing and on the back following the traditions of the Galactic Empire, the First Order has kept the TIE Fighter design in service, but has updated the craft to modern combat standards. How cool is that? Okay, let's crack this thing out of the packaging. So here is the TIE Fighter out of the packaging and it looks gorgeous. I have to say that was probably the easiest packaging I've ever had to open in my life. It was one bit of cellar tape on the side, pulled it out and it came out of its plastic shell instantly. No more twist ties, no anything like that. So nice to get something that comes out of the packaging so easy. So this thing is absolutely fantastic. As it said on the back of the packaging, it keeps with the traditions of the design of the old TIE Fighter, which everyone loves and remembers and wants to see again. So I'm so glad that JJ Abrams decided to keep this design. But obviously it's been upgraded. We've got a brand new black stylization and also the solar panels now are sort of like a bright whiter color. And that makes sense because as time goes on, surely the technology would update and probably these solar panels are much more efficient now. In hand, this thing is weighty and gorgeous. It's packed with detail and probably the best feature about this is that it's 99% die cast. All die cast. You know, I thought the solar panels might be plastic, but no, listen. That's metal. The frame. That's metal. The ball part in the middle, the cockpit. That's metal. The arms on the side, metal. So the only parts that aren't metal are the little cockpit and the little aerial part on the side. The rest is fully die cast metal. What a brilliant collectible. This is gonna be great on my desk and hard wearing. I don't have to worry about this thing snapping or being too damaged. It's a great die cast collectible like we used to have in the 80s. Taking a closer look at the gorgeous detail on this thing, as you can see, they've cast a really detailed model here. We've got little bits of red paint. We've got gray paint for the underside of the cockpit there. This is a clear plastic. For the cockpit area as you can see there's no mishaps on the paint job there on the cockpit really beautiful you can see the little cannons underneath the cockpit there the detail here is just incredible you can see all these little greeblies and lines going on here beautifully detailed parts you can see the ridges in the solar panel really nice on the outside again we've got really nice detail just look at that absolutely incredible now here's the only problem I've spotted on this whole thing and it's a little bit of a paint mishap. As you can see, they've sort of sprayed or painted this area using a template and unfortunately the black has spilled into the solar panel area. But to be honest, it kind of looks a little bit like weathering and that's something maybe that this TIE Fighter is missing, just a little bit of age. Uh, but maybe they're supposed to look brand new because they're sort of like the new TIE Fighters, the new model. Um, a little bit on the inside you can just see there's a little bit of black bleeding there but again as I said this does look more like weathering than anything else but still a gorgeous piece I mean they must have either used a digital file of the original TIE Fighter or found some way to uh, kit bash an old model together because the detail on this thing is just incredible we do have some literature here printed on the inside of one of the solar panel wings um, I mean I think you could paint this out uh, with a little bit of cream enamel paint. I'm tempted not to do that in case I get the colour completely wrong, but I'm guessing this is like a standard paint that you could probably find and match. Um, but apart from that, the detail on this thing is incredible. Let's take a look at the back of the cockpit. Again, you can just see all that gorgeous detail going on. Really beautiful. There's the underside. 
and you can hear the ring of that metal. Top is metal, it's just incredible. I can't believe how much die cast metal has gone into this thing. Okay, so how big is this thing? Let's get out the tape measure. So this is three and a half inches across, which is about nine centimeters. And in terms of the height, you're looking at about four and a half inches, which is about 11 and a half centimeters. Okay, size comparison time. Let's bring in the Jada Toys Diecast Jeep Wrangler from Jurassic Park. We have reviewed this one on the channel. Link is in the description if you want to check that out. I think these two scale up pretty nicely next to each other. And lastly, here's our good friend Off Color Alan, who at this scale could probably take on an at-at all by himself. Thanks, Alan. There he goes. He's leaving the review table. So there we have it. That was today's look at the first order TIE Fighter from the brand new Force Awakens. This is the die-cast version, the Disney exclusive. Way better than the toys, I have to say. Uh, it's just a fantastic collectible and I can't wait to put this one on my desk. The detail's incredible. It reminds me of old toys, the quality that we used to get and I just think it's a thing of beauty. Okay guys, pick these up quickly because I have noticed the prices are going up pretty fast. I mean, I bought this for $14.99, that's in Great British Pounds, and uh, I've already seen them now going for £25. So do try and get your hands on these early because I think these are gonna sell out quick. Anyway, in the meantime guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Darth Vader calling from the Star Destroyer. If you do not subscribe to Jurassic Collectible immediately, you will face the entire wrath of the Empire.